Hello folks, Rever here. Welcome to another episode of Gifts of the Caucasus. And I am sitting in front of my T8 tractor with the uh, potato topper. And this part didn't grow, but the rest of it's all grown. If we look at this map, well, we were doing the onion field. This uh, potato field became ripe. You can see this one's dark green now. So, so the grass is definitely ready to grow too. We'll be cut. We'll get on that eventually. But first, I figured I would have this guy work on this one. If we look in the garage, the guy really doesn't do the greatest job chopping, and this is three meters and if we come over to oh, that's the sugar beet one this one 3.3 yeah, meters if we come to the potato harvester wherever that guy is I miss him back the other way yeah that's the other ones there it is this is only two meters so you know, to me, there's just as well off starting somebody off, you know, getting it all cut, and then let the other guys run it. So that will save these other two guys time once I have the carrots going. So real quick, set up a course blade course. Looks good to work. Twelve. Let's see, we're gonna calculate three point one. Good enough. So 3.3, we'll do 3.1. Uh, southwest, east. I'll just do one head, why not? I don't think it really makes much difference. Alright, calculate that out for me. have no effect on this. So, Alright, let's get over to the other equipment. So now we have our carrot harvester on our T6. And I'm going to set up the initial headland course. Now hopefully this time we got some things worked out from working with the onion field. Working with 18.9. That's not That way, and give him a bunch of corpse. bunch of uh, ones. I picked the wrong field. Try that again. There we go. Much better. All right. So I guess he's ready to go, huh? Some place I think this guy's going to miss. Alright, so turn him on. Now we got to wait on the front this time, which I didn't have for most of that onion field. Chaser tractor. And it's pretty much just like the other field as far as good one there. Let's make sure we don't have any issues. You can hardly see the carrots in this part. Also did that so we check out this guy's Where we started.
can't really tell from this first turn. So there it is. We'll have some carrots. Been looking forward to this all day. I had to go to work since uh, since I did the onion episode. Now hopefully I'll be able to get the potatoes and the carrots done in this episode. Seventy-five percent. Good shape. Let's run this over. Find the character. Let's go find where this belongs. Probably right next to the onion. It's not much of a pile of potatoes I made, is it? Let's see. Yep, seems to be unloading. Yeah, it's a disappointing pile in this uh, shed here. You got some of them on the tractor that fills it up. This one, not very impressive. Okay, we're in the vegetable business now, which in and of itself is a step forward for me because I have done just my share of silage. While I will continue to do silage out of necessity in order to keep this map going, because they sure cost you some bucks. These last couple rows, I don't know, I may end up doing them myself. It's going to get wrapped up in that hill. Right, so I'm going to make it around the turn before he runs out of space. Yeah, he'll make it. Very good. So, as far as other things go, the guy is still down there unloading the uh, silage, another, he's got a, about a half of a silo full, and then he's got, got another, he's got another full silo, so, we'll have some extra bucks, I really haven't planned on exactly what I would do with it, I said, I, uh, I think another field is in order, I think it should, you know, might even plant some trees on it. But I think I can cut those trees down without paying a hundred grand. That would be another steady source of income. Speaking of sources of income. One thing I would like to check out is if we hit our question mark button. Go shops. Power plant. Oh uh, yeah, look, we should sell some stuff to that guy. He closes at 20 hours. Hmm. I think maybe before I go off the grass cut, I may get rid of offload some wood chips. Alright, well, I'm going to keep doing this for a while. And uh, come back when something changes. Most likely, uh, potato field, I would think. This is what we do. Really, these fields aren't too big, so they're not, they're not overwhelming as far as time it takes you to do it. Which is kind of my 
this because potato sugar beet harvest in three meters of shots, even with the bigger ones, really not great. So, all right, well, I'll be back in a few minutes, a few seconds. Maybe. All right, the headland courses are over, so we shall come back for a quick minute here and I'll show you what I do. So I got rid of that course. Field 10. Get rid of all these headlands. Let's see what happens. Looks like I don't want to go down this road. I might as well go down this one. Make sure we don't miss anything. Let's see if it'll actually start going the right direction. Yeah, this is a good choice. So I just cleaned up, you know, like the corners over there where or up ahead where he doesn't, where he doesn't see. Or where he doesn't, you know, goes around the distance. That way I don't have to run up and down. I guess theoretically you could run him up and down those extra rows. It's really not worth it. But it takes a little manual. That's more fun. I'm slipping. Okay, yeah, good, good. Try again. Let's make sure he has already suggested that I do this at some point. Let me see. Well, I activated that. Probably won't hurt him. Back to that guy. So we don't have blue lines. Well, with all that fiasco, he didn't leave any. That's a little bit better. This turn. Oh yeah, let me show you the onion total while we're back for a second. Onions, 126,000. So, that is pretty nice, probably about 120,000. Yeah, I don't like the little stupid backing up thing. I wasn't doing that before. Harvester is slightly different, but whatever. Let's see, does it come around not miss any carrots? That's really what I care about. When I set somebody off to do something, um, I'm not sure that, it, that I care and it takes any more extra. Yeah, T8's still down there doing his thing, isn't it? Let's see, way in the distance. Carrots. Alright, well, there we go. So, it seems to be a reasonable success. I wouldn't be surprised if he does miss some stuff, but you know, well, I'm pretty busy chasing. Part of the reason is because I haven't got this little carrot card, which I should probably try to remedy one way or the other. Sometime. I don't need a huge thing. I don't have a big tractor to pull the big thing anyway, so, so we'll see. I'll uh, get this done and come back when the potato field's ready to go. I'll see you in a second. Well, the carrots are done. As you can see, got a little bit left to go drop off this guy. Let's take him around to the. Get ready. I probably should have got. I could have got the other guy started. 
potatoes. But. So we got our onions in, we got our carrots in. Didn't even look at the total yet. Question mark and move it here. So 87,000 carats. So it's a smaller field, so we probably got about 80,000. We're starting out with five or six thousand each thing, but that's plenty enough to do a mission. Or I'm not sure when I'm going to start selling these things regularly. Honestly, I'd like to get the higher demand stuff. Feel like the next second round of farming with any particular thing. So now the question is, which tractor do I use? Let's take a look here, real quick. And this guy isn't. Oh, there he is. So he's only calling for 110 horsepower. It was really the the topper, which is right there. That was. You know, the combination of these two was kind of a bit much for for this little tractor. So let me let's see again. I think what I would like to do is come all the way over here, or close to all the way over. See this guy will hold potatoes. What I'm thinking of doing is trying to continue to chase with this guy if I can get away with it. That car here. We really do need to come up with some better system or start to get a lot of equipment on this farm here. Oops. Question mark. Yep, we got a front weight on. Yeah, so he I think he's gonna be able to handle potatoes with this. Him here for the moment, and we can go get the potato guy going. Which I think I will do with this. So let's get him parked up over here. See what I'm doing. Okay. One, one. There we go. All right. So like I said, he should be fine with the potatoes. straight behind or is this offset? You can see, I think this is offset a little bit. Let's see what course play says. So we're gonna do field work. Yeah, see it already moved it off to the left, but I'm not so sure that that's the best way to do it. We'll see. Let's get out to the field and see what happens. This time, I think I'm just going to set him at it with no headlands. Now let's try one headland, just to see what effect that has. See, see if I can stop these guys from doing that. Just doing that silly backing up thing. This guy's pipe goes the other way, so we're going to want him to go around this way, just in case. This is a pretty big field, so we should be facing this way when we get started. So let's go to field 12. Let's calculate this. And let's go 
going southwest, facing east. One headland going around that way, clockwise. It showed me that box. Yeah, see how that's. See how they have it. You know, I don't. You can use that little box to kind of decide. I guess that's much better. You know, point six there more representative. Now you can do this too to fake them out. Now we'll tell them to use four-wheel drive. And I'm not sure... Yeah, four-wheel drive is activated. So, let's just see what that looks like, of course. Let's just start kind of facing this way, doesn't it? first. Now this guy's a real pain to try to get started again, so hopefully he does well. Try to start in the middle, it's it's sort of hard to get close to the nearest waypoint. But, right, let's do first waypoint, drive course. about that thing moving. So let's go back to here, right here. Well, let's just try that. Let's set this up real quick. Let's back up. Just so we didn't have to refold everything this time. Alright, well, let's go get this guy. Probably, yeah, let's get this guy out to the field. And I'm going to try to get the crone going while I'm doing this. Let's see how that goes. Crone should be over by that gas station in town. I think I'll bring him to the other side of this field. We'll see what happens. I expect this guy to run into those telephone poles. But other than that, he should be okay with just one headland. And we'll see what he leaves behind. I'm sure it's going to be a bunch of them. Like set up, give me time to get the chrome set up. Start working on some more silage. Seems to be a never ending thing. Alright, so now we're going to go to this guy who still has wood chips to sell. Let's check that out. kind of half forgot about that in my finishing carrots. That's right, I'm going to head him over that way anyhow. T6 is slipping. What are you slipping on? is it's kind of hard to get him it's 
kind of hard to get him back on the right course once he stops them. Those things are so close. I'm going to try. I'm just I'm not sure of the trick of this. Obviously, you know, he keeps finding one that's closer. Try current waypoint, but that would take him back into the tree. So we really need to just get him, get him going on. Let's see. Hey. Yeah, to me it's just about a random chance there. But all right, so we're past the trees. Hopefully, it doesn't hit him on the next run. Go over to this guy again. This guy down and sell wood chips. is 56%. So we chase him and move him pretty soon here. stop and chase the potato guy a little bit and we'll just be back and forth until we get everybody settled and then who knows how settled they'll be. Yeah, so this guy's a real bugger for in traffic, right? We'll just stay in traffic for a second. Yeah, so it's a real fine line between this guy being in traffic and getting close enough to him. This is not a horse break friendly harvest. So it's a real Chase him back down this back down the other way when he gets there. So now that we got that trailer going, I think we'll start to prone up. Hopefully we'll have enough time in between. It's definitely slower with this. Well, bigger tractors will come. We'll see. We have. I know. You know. I, I want to. Well, what did our wood chips cost go to? It went down four, four dollars a thousand. So it's certainly acceptable. But we'll get these sold first. We have one job stuff before we start another. One. And if you notice, if I sell this sixty-one thousand, we'll. That'll pretty much top off this guy, not worth it really down to Like 4,000 worth of wood chips. So this gave a nice shot in the arm. You know, it's over $500, which means 50% of what I sold. So 520 really times. I was at about. It was over, a little over 50,000 they had, so that was 250,000. So I probably made 130,000 off of this. Yeah, 
And it takes a little while to load and unload this thing. Yeah, so that boosted up our money nicely. And then just while we're waiting for that, you can see this guy's busy working. And I think you saw it in an earlier video. We had all these full, so now this one's almost empty. That one's ready to go, and this one is empty. And this one's, you know, not totally full. That's the one with 418,000. But we still got a good amount of money in there, but it's time to get the silage going again. At some point we won't have to rely on it, I assume, as much. Or we'll just go off and do other things, because we've got enough neat things to do. Alright, let's go back to this guy. Only at 40%, so make sure he looks like. I don't know if you guys can see him way down there, but he's on his way back now, so there you go. This guy should be empty. Before I forget, change his. No, this isn't the pilot style changing guy, but I change anything. Doing some goofy maneuvering, huh? At least you're moving forward. One of the problems with these potatoes, it's hard to see where you've missed and where you've gotten. This guy's just got to be right up against him. No, no room for forgiveness. But hey, we're making potatoes. And there you go, wood chips. Need to watch these tractors and keep them, keep them close. set up. Get around the corner. This guy unfolded. He's all filled up with gas. And his course is all ready to go. That's the one he finished on, I assume. Open up that guy. Put this guy on. Pipe out. I'm 
chase. Let's get one. Three. Let's get one of the fuel. Get him ready to go. Here's our potato harvesting 27%. So that glance mod is nice for that. You know, we're trying to do all this. Turned off traffic, so have to be a little cheaty about some things. Alright, so there you go. So now we're making grass. Let's come back to here and some harvesting. Chase it down a little bit. Yeah, this guy's struggling. I put on him the more he struggles. About chasing him just 30%. But it is nice not having to run back and forth as many times. Get off that corner so he doesn't turn me. Run into me. Oh, on one side. So we're in business. We're harvesting potatoes. We're of course playing over there in the middle of the town and we've got our silage going. I thought I'd take a minute to look at this map now that we have a tiny bit of quiet to see what we would do next. So I'm thinking I'm eyeing up any one of those fields like 16, 17, 18. I think 18 might be a nice field to plant some trees in, maybe. Though 16 a candidate, too, for that. Like I said, I kind of switch it back and forth between grass and, and trees. I'm not sure. Let's take a look here. and we got 32 status, so you can see we got our one mission done. Most of it, look at the, the threshed. I'm not sure what they mean by threshed, unless they mean harvested. So I've got a lot of, most points for the hours. Which is a heck of a way to do it. And yeah, the animals, i kind of been neglecting them, but I probably should even turn one of these fields into grass, but I have a little extra grass to feed them. So 450,000. I was hoping to get my money up and then have somebody offer me a field. Yeah, as far as planting crops in, and I don't know if I'm better off with just like a slightly smaller field, you know, spending a little bit less money, because I could definitely afford like 18 and 20 and 21. Oh, potato harvest, let's get ready here, isn't it? Let's get this. Is it going the other way? Are you going to get filled up on me? No, but I need to be ready when you turn, don't I? This guy's really struggling. Be ready. And, you know what? He's not doing great, but he's doing about what I expected. Sometimes what I'll do then is, is course play him. And of course, play GPS them back and forth across the headlands. And after he's done, just pick up as much as I can. But again, it's really hard to tell what you've been over and what you haven't. And if you get real close, you can see that. Anymore, you idiot. You get traffic for yourself. You don't want to stop him. 
thing to get killed. Oh, you know what I can do? Let's stop. Switch this to current waypoint. Alright, I don't know what that was all about, but let's see if we can't get this guy to fill up. We're gonna have a lot of potatoes when this is done. I really need to pay attention to this guy being close, but not too close. Get to talking too much. Yeah, I think definitely the next thing to do is buy another field. We got 450,000. You know, we got the equipment as far as uh, you know, our bigger cultivate or bigger harvester. Uh, wouldn't hurt to probably you know wait a little bit longer, but I'm in the middle of harvest and I got to replant, and you know, so it'll be a little while. We'll sell off a bunch more silage, and it should be good if we decide to. Pretty much close enough for me. I'm going to find the potato thing, which is probably down by the wood chips, because that wood chips, potatoes, and sweet meats, I think it is. It's a pretty standard silo bin. So, yeah, as far as the plan goes, get another field. And then um, I think I'm going to keep just rotating these root crops around. You know, if, if something gets ahead of the other, I may just plant. Is that potatoes? Let's come over here and look at our warehouses. Very nice. Chef guy, yeah, we gotta go chase him in a minute here. Yeah, the sixty thousand trailer when chasing that chef makes a difference because when the trailers are the same size, it's sort of you know it's sort of hard to chase it down to the very last second or let them go. Like, but now, yeah, you know, it just sort of makes everything a lot easier. A little more room for. Wiggle. I don't know if that made any sense, but get this. We should probably get the chaff back. This guy will fire for a few minutes. Let's get him down in position. I guess, in other words, like I didn't want to let the guy. I'm talking about the chaff. I didn't want to let the guy, you know, go down to where he had nothing. You know, like, you want to, you want to let the guy in the field get kind of filled up before you go chasing him. So I'd let him get to 90%, say. Then I go chase him. Well, now I've got the trailer, like, 92% full, as opposed to, you know, if, if you have a bigger trailer, like, when I go chase this one, he'll still have 20%. So it's sort of worth waiting to let him fill up. Kind of amazing because it means it didn't get stuck on this right now. And I definitely have the four wheel drive and activate. See that? He is still getting stuck. You know, it's, it's a matter of. Let's see if we can jump over to him. See, if you come here and look, he is jackknifing himself against that tongue of that trailer. You know, that's his problem. He needs to go straight a little bit. Like, I need to be able to change the turn radius or. Or something here, you know, which it just doesn't, it lets you change turn radius in other places, but just not for this. See, if I get in there, and I go straight just a little bit, now I can turn again, you know, and, I, and as soon as you see yourself jamming up, you turn straight, bada bing, and you're, go you're good, you know. Let's start here real quick. 
chase them on this little thing. Or... Let's do this. Excuse me, guys. Once he comes back down here, we're just gonna see he's jackknifed up against the tongue. <clears throat> so he's basically stupidly locked himself into position. And, and a lot of times, even if he does turn on his differentials, he just doesn't he just doesn't pull through. Because it's I think if it was perfectly flat ground, see as soon as I can go straight and break that lock. It, And by the way, this is the problem too that the guy has, of course. Yeah, this is the problem he has. You know, anytime the ground's like not quite right, so to speak, he. I don't need course play. You know what? We're going to get rid of this. We don't need it. And how's our potatoes doing? Not 49%. All right, so all this little fiasco is not killing us. Alright, see what I mean there? Like, when he takes him from almost, say, he's still got 76%. It's like he's worth keeping around here. Like, the other guy would have, you know, like, 96. So it's like, do I run to the store for 96? And then you're constantly running to the store without the trailer full because, you know, either that or you got to chase him earlier in the whole process, which doesn't give you as much time to go do the other things. And don't make it sound like I'm trying to complain, just... It's nice to have this, this other trailer. Alright, so let's turn that guy back on. Let's see what happens. I think he's going to get jammed on quite a bit here. At least my, my potato guy may not be doing the greatest job. This guy, yeah, just it would be wonderful if he could control their turn rate. That's possible. It's probably hard coded in, but even though it's you know it not be that hard to rethink that. Who knows? I don't even know if the guys are still even working on this. It's been a while since I looked at it. So let's go back to here. Get ready to get some potatoes off of him. will tell. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to continue doing this. You've definitely got the idea. I don't, don't see anything overly exciting happening for a period of time. Just running back and forth, keeping these guys as busy as I can. You know, run the chaff over back to the BGA. And like I said, I'll think about uh, feeding the cattle in the next episode. I'm going to turn this way. Yeah, so he's doing all right. At least he's not doing the stupid backing up thing. Yeah, let's see if we get out. How much is he actually leaving? Yeah, see, there's you can kind of tell. There's there's a couple little strips here and there, but for the most part, you know, even down the ends, I'm sure he's he's he should be getting it. Yeah, see, he's not leaving anything over in the middle. I don't know if you guys can even tell the difference with with YouTube. But see that little strip right there with the grass sticking out? There's, you know, another one over here. So yeah, he's, he's doing all right. We're getting 95% of it at least. All right. Oop. See, that's what happens when you do YouTube videos. Well, it happens. This definitely happens when you do YouTube videos.
All right, well, I'll leave you here. Like I said, I'll, I'll get this field harvested, and I probably will even start the planting before I get back. Right, what am I going to plant? Let's take a quick look over here again. Probably definitely some sunflower in this big field. And then I think from there I'll just start, you know, generally going with the root crops. We've got the crone slipping up there. Hopefully it'll straighten itself out. And so in other words, I won't do the wheat, barley. You know, corn will be a little bit, you know, probably doing the bigger fields, but we'll see. So I don't know if I would do potatoes again. I may do, like, onions and carrots again. Um, we'll see. We're a little low on rye, but get a build up of the root crops and then we can see about you know maybe eventually plant one of the other crops in there. for now we'll see how these sell and, uh, and I need to go straighten out the crone so let me go do that while we're do this guy right here and I'll go do that and then yeah I'll be back in a little bit to show you uh, you know, the results of the harvest and maybe some planting, maybe just the results of the planting. All right, talk to you guys. Hey guys, the, uh, you know, the carrot field's all done. The, uh, potatoes are in it, just taking quite a long time to harvest this big potato field. And I was sitting here thinking, you know what, pretty soon it's going to be dark. So the, you know, recording at nighttime is really not the best. There's not that much more I'm going to be able to do with things around town. A lot of them closed. We already sold our wood chips for the day. And, um, if you look, I'm harvesting some chaff over in this field. Let's jump over to this guy. So he's just, uh, we've already cut the field in town. And now I'm cutting this grass field by the shop. And I'll go ahead and cut the big grass field 13 and get that chaff run down to the PGN. Um, the next most exciting thing that's going to happen, let me hit shift I. Is this field 19, because of all the fast forwarding I did around my little carrot onion fiasco, uh, the field 19 should be ready to go shortly, so I will probably, if it happens in the middle of the night, I will probably just go ahead and harvest that if it's, you know, I probably won't come back, in other words, until it's daylight. Uh, imagine you guys have seen a wheat field harvest before. Um, I showed bits, obviously, of the rye harvest. And we'll have another opportunity, I'm sure, on field 19. Um, the other thing just to talk about is, you know, I've been thinking even more about what fields to buy. and. You know, 17 and 18 are looking pretty promising, and, and so is 9. So I'm not real sure, you know, if there's qualifications. I think when we clicked before, I had to be at a certain level. I'm not sure if I'm... You know, let me get out of this track. It's loud. So, like I said, I don't think I can, I can't click on it here. I have to go to town, but we don't quite have enough money for either one of these. And, you know, field 20 is a pretty good suspect. Yeah, I definitely think I want to get another crop field. Yeah, and really field 9 would be the best one. So, we still have some more silage to sell. I'm not sure how much they'll actually sell that for me. And maybe somebody will come up with a field for sale. You know, like two is kind of, kind of a good distance from where we're at right now with our setup. Down the road, these you know, huge fields are a different question altogether, but there's a lot of decent sized fields right in here. You know, this is getting kind of big for the money we have now and the equipment. So I'd really like to try to stay in this area. Maybe field 16, but, you know, one of these down in here. So we'll see. If nothing else, I think field 18 we may buy to put trees on. Even though it is a nice square field. So maybe I don't want to put trees. This part's a little crooked. You get the idea. So we'll see. Hopefully one of these comes up for sale and ends the debate. Something I can buy. But in the meantime, we'll just work on getting all of our crops. we got 32 status. So that's without doing many missions. So 
you know, the big thing is time played. And I really have been committed to this map. I mean, all of this stuff, there's been no cheating on money or anything. This is, this is all legit how I play the game. Even though I usually tend to prefer the soil mod. It's been nice to get back to a regular map. Just to experience the crops constantly growing. When you play the soil mod, it's a bit different where they grow each day or actually they just move forward a, a stage each day. So it's four full game days before you get your crops in. So I better go get some potatoes, huh? I can't even wait. I've been kind of cheating. I, you don't do crop destruction. And I, th I'm, I think you do if you're using the uh, drive control version of crop destruction. Let's just take a couple of these out here. Just enough to get him around the corner. He's been doing an okay job. I can show you in a second here. But I'm kind of disappointed. I'm always disappointed in the job they do. It's almost one of the reasons that I don't, you know, I don't do the potatoes that much. But, and I'm not sure if, how well this shows up. I know from some angles, you can see all those little tops are still on there. Like if we come, see, like there's tops like all the way out to here. Where, like, you know, why would he mess up that bit? You know, this whole area, he sort of missed stuff in. You know, which kind of means you have to go back over. And that's a good chunk of this field. <laughs> you know, it's considering it's probably the same way on the other end. Oh, and I just forgot to do that. Let's see. Can we make it? After that, I'll... He's going to stop. All right. Well, now that he's stopped, I got the silage guy. He's still going. We'll see how much money we end up with tomorrow morning. I will pay back. Let's take a look at the finance. Bunch of false starts on the end of this. Get it here. Did I get close enough? Yeah, and whoever I know this is an in-game thing, but if I could mod this thing, I would simply just make that pipe a little bit longer for me there, you know? Just so and that would make course play run so much better with chasing. And if course play would run better with chasing, I would be willing to drive the harvester with the GPS mod. This just kind of, it's painful for somebody who likes to set up. Like, whenever I do this, it's just going to be pretty constant tension. So my chaff guy's full. This guy's almost full. All right, I'm going to stop talking. Right, let's get this guy to the end of the road. Pull him off. And let's just real quick jump down here. Where did he stop? He stopped right here. I can see on the map. Let's go get him. Just a little bit unloaded. Now this I will do crop destruction. Go on the grass too much. Well, he's moving because I'm... If it's a regular trailer, I might have been able to pull that move off. Okay, we'll keep blowing into the... He moves immediately because it's blowing into my... That actually went reasonably well. Ooh. Yeah, watch out for that because I didn't flip over, but I, I've almost flipped over if you cut too hard. All right, let's see. Can I hit insert? I think things steep, keep running in the background with this. I don't want to spend too much time on the screen. But I got him down to 63%. So. so just looking at what we did, you know, you can see... It's a shame we... I wish they would save this for, like, a longer period of time. But you can see we've been making seven, eight 800,000. We've already made 676,000 today. So, you know, we've been doing pretty well for ourselves as far as getting money. And believe it or not, this is how much money this map takes. I still only own a few fields and... Got the basic equipment, but and this is why I'm not letting up on the on the silage because that's it. This is silage and those couple trees that we ground up. But the good news is, is what we're going to look at. Oh, the interest payment. 
sixty-one thousand. So paying off that hundred and twenty-five thousand cut our payment by quite a bit, twelve thousand or so. So hopefully we'll get another chunk off. We'll pay another hundred and forty thousand. But we're in good shape for that. And at this point, to me, it's just really a matter of time. So where did my guy go? He kept running around. So I probably shouldn't have turned around again. I should probably just run down there. Alright, well, like I said, I'm probably going to call this an episode. It'll be getting dark in the game. You know, relatively soon. Didn't want it to be a pitch black episode. It's I kind of watched a few of the ones that I did, and it's... I always tried to avoid them anyway, but I guess just I can see why. You really, you really can't see what's going on. It's like me talking and you guys have a blindfold on. I kind of do that. So I won't record at night much, not unless it's something really interesting. I'm going to chase him on down to the BGM, and I will uh, see you guys in the next episode, which will be sometime tomorrow morning, in-game that is, and by then we'll have the grass fields cut, I may or may not have that wheat field up there, number 19, harvested, and we'll see how much money we have, but we may, uh, we may be buying another field. So hopefully, uh, hopefully something good happens in the meantime as far as getting an offer on the field. Anything I've had an offer for was just not even in my league. Not that my league was above 50000 So this is the first time on this map that I'm not borrowing money, that I actually have a couple bucks. So that's kind of a good feeling. I don't think I could just sustain this, this level. That's not me leaving. That's just me talking. So I hope you guys have a good day. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will be back again. And we'll get some more stuff done on Gifts of the Caucasus. Everybody, take care. Have a good day.